Hey everyone, what if I told you that one of the most popular video games, which is Fortnite, had a secret connection to the band 21 Pilots? You might call me crazy, and like, how is there even any connections at all? But by the end of this video, I think you might begin to believe me. Now seriously, 21 Pilots has even played the original Fortnite music pre-show on their latest tour, the Bandito tour. But this piece of information is just the tip of the Polar Peak Iceberg. See? See what I did there? And there is so much more to cover. Without further ado, grab some popcorn and enjoy. Twenty One Pilots is a music group with only two members, Tyler Joseph, who is the vocalist, and Josh Dunn, the drummer. Their most recent album, Trench, was released in October 2018. But before July of 2018, they had not been heard from for a year. And this is where our story begins. July 17, 2017 is the day known to many 21 Pilots fans as the start of the hiatus. The two members of the group, Josh Dunn and Tyler Joseph, completely concealed themselves and were not heard from for almost a year. Now they had won an award for the most dedicated fans at the APMAs. Strangely, only Josh Dunn was there to accept the award. As he accepted it, he told the audience, um, Tyler wishes he could be here. Um, he's actually off severing ties with Dima. This statement, referring to someone or something called Dima, greatly confused fans and started a mystery. Many people went to search what Dima may, might mean and discovered that it actually means Tower of Silence. It made no sense at the time, but later set the stage for their album Trench. Now you may be wondering, this sounds like it has nothing to do with Fortnite, so where does Fortnite come in? Well, strangely enough, exactly six months and one day later, something related to a tower was added into Fortnite. You guessed it, this was the infamous Tilted Towers added January 18th, 2018. I'm sure you're wondering, weird coincidence, but that means nothing. Well, Josh Dunn's birthday happens to be the 18th of June, exactly five months after Tilted Towers release. Also, it's another 18th day of the month. How interesting. I, I also find it interesting that his birthday is in 2018 was June 18th, 618, and he turned 30 years old. Now, if you take the age he turned and swap it with the 18 for the 18th day, you will get the date 63018, and even that has a significance. On that day, there was an in-game Fortnite event, and it was a rocket launch. That's right. A rocket launched into the sky and created a giant crack across the sky, all as a build up to the Fortnite's fifth season, which focused around this rift. Remember now that we are talking about the time of the release of season five of Fortnite. The next event on our timeline is the return of 21 Pilots, which was the end of the hiatus. With new songs, Jumpsuit and Nico and the Niners. Now it is time for me to drop the bomb. The very next day, July 12th, was the release of none other than Fortnite's fifth season, Mind Blown. Oh wait, that reminds me. Speaking of things being blown up, remember that in-game Fortnite event on May 4th, 2019, when a volcano erupted in-game and destroyed Tilted Towers? Yeah, remember as I said before, Tournament Pilots already has a connection to Tilted Towers. So what happened to Tournament Pilots on the very same day? Well. At their show that day, May 4th, they performed the live debut of their song, Smithereens. The same time that Tilted Towers was blown up to smithereens. Boom. Now let's talk about how their songs from Trench relate to Fortnite. Now what a jumpsuit is, is an outfit a pilot would wear, and it would help them if they had to... Well, even in an emergency, it usually has a parachute attached to it. And what is in Fortnite related to this? Well, at the very start of every game, you have to parachute down to the ground. It's more like a glider or an umbrella, but either way, you're gliding to the ground the same way you would with a parachute. This next song is Levitate. So Levitate takes right off after Jumpsuit, and what would come right after you're gliding? Well, you would kind of make it to the ground and start to loot up, and that's kind of what levitate as a word sounds like. Like, you're levitating above the ground. Like, you're just landing. Like, it's the landing after the gliding. Like, you're gliding and then you're landing. 
That probably makes no sense, but it makes sense in my head. Next song is Morph. Now, now this is a common situation that happens in Fortnite. So you're just fighting somebody, and then all of a sudden, one, two, or even three people come up and start trying to attack the same guy, or even attack you. Now, in the song Morph, they say, I'm surrounded, and I'm hounded, there's no above, or under, or around it. Now, that's what happens in Fortnite, you're pinched, is the term, you can't escape anywhere, and you're surrounded. Now, another thing they say in the song is, I'll morph to someone else. And what is a staple thing of Fortnite that you can do? Change your skin and change how you look. You can physically change who you are and morph to another skin. The next song is My Blood. Now this song is about sticking with your friends and uh, just always being there for them. And that's kind of what you do in Fortnite. You help your teammates out and eventually try to win. Now Chlorine, uh, that's probably just about drinking potions and healing up. Um, or taking damage. I don't really know. I didn't think about this one too much. Alright, next up is Smithereens. And this song's probably about uh, Tyler Joseph's wife. But um, it also has the relation to Tilted Towers, like I said. Next is Neon Gravestones. And this is uh, one of the like more sad songs on the uh, album. But in relation to Fortnite, it could probably mean like when your teammates are getting knocked out. Um, but it more has a real life relation more than a Fortnite relation. Now the hype. Now the hype is actually a dance in Fortnite. So that right there is a connection as itself. But also I think the deeper meaning to this is that he probably enjoys playing Fortnite, but they don't necessarily believe all the hype surrounding it. Like they like the game, but like they don't think it should be as hyped up as it is. That's my interpretation of it. Nico and the Niners. Now, in Nico of the Niners, it says, I'm flying from a fire from Nico and the Niners. Now, what could a fire be? It could be a fight. So what would you do in Fortnite? Well, if you're in a fight, and if I said earlier in Morph, if you were, like, pinched, what would you try to do? You would try to escape the fight. And what? how can you escape the fight? With a launch pad. Launch in the air and physically fly from the fire. Alright, I think I'm kind of going out of order, but uh, next up is Cut My Lip, and uh, it's about being like damaged, but not done. So it says, though I am bruised face of contusion, I will keep moving. So he's kind of beat up, but he's still going on, and that's kind of what you have to do in Fortnite. Maybe you're fighting, and then you get knocked down, and you're really low on health, but you still keep fighting, med back up, and you're all safe again. Pet Cheetah. Now, this one's interesting. The very opening line of the song is, I am on an island. It's a connection to Fortnite. The Battle Royale Island? Question mark? I'm sorry, that was probably really, really cringy. Alright, coming to the last few, Bandito. Now, Bandito is just kind of like, in the uh, Trench album, it's a group that like they go, and they're kind of like taking a stand against Dima. Um... So, that could be exactly that in Fortnite. You're a squad member trying to win the game. You're, like, a group of people banded together for a cause. Um, in Fortnite's case, it's to win the game. Now, the final song on the album is Leave the City. And it says, In time, I will leave the city. For now, I will stay alive. And what's the main focus of Fortnite? Staying alive until you're the last team alive. And that's what it is. I will stay alive. Now there's one song I skipped over and that is Legend and that one's about his grandfather. If this whole Fortnite theory is true, it has no connection to Fortnite. It's just about his grandfather, okay? Okay, so that's all my evidence about how 21 Pilots can be connected to Fortnite. Do you believe me after all this evidence? I don't know. I don't even know if I believe in myself. I just had, a, I had an idea and I ran with it, okay? So if you enjoyed it, uh, check out some of my other videos, and if you really liked it, maybe leave a subscribe down below. I would appreciate it. And that's all I got for today, so goodbye.